Four town council mayors come to the Constitutional Square, which is directly opposite the central police station, to demonstrate peacefully against what they call manhandling and disrespect of leaders. What happens next? Is it something worth writing home about? Shortly after 10 a.m., four smartly dressed mayors Mubaraka Munyagwa from Kawimpi, Mohamed Chiseka from Kakiri, Wakai Manseriko from Nansana and Tony Sempebwa disembark from this taxi, which appears to have had no other passengers. Out they come, armed with mats, pillows and Koran and newspapers, to while away the day as they begin their hunger strike at their choice of destination, the Constitutional Square. Hurriedly, they dive under the not so tightly established boundary which keeps civilians away from the Constitutional Square gardens or is guarded by police, but this time catching the police unawares. Some policemen realize there is an invasion and quickly jump in to scatter them, and a scuffle ensues. We are very peaceful. No, 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 you first come. No. Don't touch me. No. I've told you don't touch no. me. The four are whisked away to the central police station. When uh, the commander heard that they were actually at uh, Constitutional Square. He called them to, to CPS and uh, we had a very fruitful meeting with them. Therefore insist that they were manhandled. However, police say that they engaged them in a friendly chat and handed them back their belongings. Mayor Mbaraka Mnyagwa is on record in uh, our meeting for having uh, praised the police to handle them in a professional manner. The much needed apology was not forthcoming. So long as uh, the investigations are done and uh, we discover that uh, really there was a mistake on the side of police, we have no problem with that. The hunger strike has been put on hold until the mayors formalize their demonstration in a written statement to the police on how they plan to carry out their demonstration. Florence Nalimba, NTV.